Cody, how different is this offense versus what you faced last week, and what's the challenge of kind of going back and forth between two different styles like that? Uh, no, it's definitely a, you know, a more, more dynamic offense. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot a, bit, a bigger focus change for us, but you know, our, our, all of our goals stay the same. We, we want to attack teams and we want to play aggressive and you know, uh, play, play to our style. So. At least statistically, Sonny seemed to have his best game. Uh, what, what did you see playing alongside him? Is it just incrementally building each week for him? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought Sonny's been playing well like the whole entire time, no matter what people have been saying. Uh, you know, he's he's a, he's like another quarterback on the on the defense, and um, you know what, what you guys saw is is, is, is a Sonny I know, and um, he's played aggressive, and, and, and that's when he's at his best game when he can when he can come downhill and, and make some plays. So I'm just really proud he's he's playing well, and you know he's, the better better days are coming for him too. So. What, what makes Oregon's tight end Karen Ferguson uh, a tough matchup? He's got good size. I mean, he's he's, he's dynamic, but. Uh, you know, we, we, we approach every everybody the same way and you know we want to play our game and, and uh you know do what we do against anybody we play. So how do you feel you guys have done covering the middle of the field tight ends, that sort of thing so far this year? I mean we could always do better. I mean especially uh this last week uh we had some trouble in third down so we, we got we we're tightened stuff up and uh just refocus and, and get back on it. Cody, how would you describe the, the challenge that Sonny has faced to go back to that? Like having to play Mike one game, Will another, Sam I, I, you know it better than anyone else. That can't be an easy transition for one man. Yeah, that's, that's probably one of the hardest things to do. I mean, they're all super different positions. So, you know, whatever you guys are seeing out there, like it's it's 20, 15 times harder than than uh, than you think. So he's he's a great processor and, and uh, he knows the defense just, just as well as anybody. So he, he's doing really well. Cody, you, you were part of this defense three years ago. We know what happened. How, what do you remember about that game and, and how frustrating it must have been? Yeah, I mean, uh, we weren't, I, I don't think, I, I can remember back to that time, I don't think we were prepared, um, you know, just mentally, physically, and, uh, um, I, you know, we've made a lot of mistakes just going back from, we've watched some film from that game, but, you know, it's it's a different team now, a different, you know, a different everything, so we, we have a different mindset, and uh, we're ready to just attack and, and play our game. Jim Knowles is here in large part because of what happened in that game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, how, how much more confident are you, how much better do you feel as a defense for this one than you did Oh yeah, I have ultimate complete trust in Coach Knowles. Uh, you know, he he has his great schemes and he's the mastermind. So we trust whatever he says, and then we're gonna go accomplish it the best level we can. Is it exciting to have a chance to go avenge that loss this week? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, you know, you don't, you don't we don't often get to play like out west or even teams out west. So it'll be a, it'll be a nice trip, and we're just showing to do our job and, and come home. RPOs are pretty tough for linebackers normally to defend. What's the challenge in defending Oregon? You know, they've a lot of those. They run pretty well. I mean, it's it's really all just about playing your keys, and so we'll, we'll have different things, and you know, you know, it's it's we're trying to change up looks and, and make it make it tough for the offense. We want to play offense on defense, so you know, when we get in that position, we just want to do our job and, and play smart. They've been pretty good at that the last two years. What about Oregon that allows them to be so successful when they win those kind of quick hitter type plays? I mean, yeah, they, they got they got a lot of uh, a lot of speed, a lot of a lot of window dressing. So you know, it's just how to communicate and uh, you know, be on all your keys. Really, that's really what it's about. You know, just communication and knowing what you have. I mean, he's he's a good, he's a good thrower. He's a talented thrower. He uh, he can he can move in the pocket too. You know, I mean, he, he's one, probably one of the better quarterbacks we face all season. So you know, it's it's been our job to contain him and and, and limit his his playmaking ability. Cody, uh, Brandon said that at least maybe on their side of the ball they've been playing with a little bit more edge in practice this week. Would you say the same for you guys? Yeah, no, we we definitely. Uh, I think it, it even started last week when we we decided. To, or we, we knew we had to make a change because we knew the, 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 uh, the type of game we we're going to play. And so, you know, we just want to keep that consistent. We, we have to play with an edge because, you know, we, we know that we have to dominate every time we play. So, you know, if we can't do it in practice, we're not going to be able to do it in the game. When you say make a change, just, you know, you, want, you, you can all, you never, sometimes you never know when you can turn it up a little bit. And so you have to make that deliberate change. You, you know, like you can turn it up, crank it up just a little bit more. Like every time you're out there, just to remind yourself, you can, you can go a little harder, you can do a little more. So, it's just really what it was. That's what it was about, you know. Just playing as hard as you can, and then just finding that little extra inch. And that's all what our program is about. Just that extra inch, just that extra play, you know. I know it's his first. I know it's his first year, you know, playing here. But Will Howard's had a lot of experience in big games. Just what's it mean to the defensive team as a whole, knowing that you know you've got a quarterback out there that's kind of been there, done that in these type of games. Yeah, no, I mean it's it's pretty cool. I mean, when you guys are watching the games, we're, and we're on the sideline, and the offense is out there, we're like we, we're in all just like you guys are. Like we, I mean, I'm. I watch those guys go out there and I have ultimate confidence in them. So, 
you know, Will's putting a lot of work here, like a ton of work. And, you know, what you guys are seeing on Saturday is really just him putting it all together and, and uh, the offense really putting it all together. Do you see things like that in practice where you're just like, you know, freshman quarterback might not do maybe some of the things you see Will does? Yeah, I mean, he has great composure, you know, and, you know, a lot of work goes into that even before you get out to the game. And, you know, he's working on that every day. So, I mean, you know, I'm just happy to see him, you know, excel on the field. And, you know, I'm excited to see what we can do Saturday. Brady, how do you make sure, obviously, tackling is important in every game. It's going to be very important this week. How do you make sure that you're sound, you know, tackling wise when you don't really tackle throughout the week in practice? Yeah, I mean, that's that's always an emphasis for us. We got we have to be better at tackling. I have to be better at tackling. Um, it's really about about positioning and feet and leverage. And you know, I you know, we, we're working it every day. And you know, you, you never want to finish in the wrong leverage or wrong wrong uh, bad feet or anything. So it's a big focus for us all the time. And it's going to be a big challenge this week because they have a lot of dynamic players. When you're you, facing a scheme that can put you in a little more conflict, not that Iowa didn't have you know, the keys, and, but they are you know, pretty run heavy, obviously. Yeah. Um, when you're facing an offense that can put you in more conflict, have a lot more window dressing and things like this, what added challenge at is that as a linebacker? You know, you just need, you need to know your stuff even that much more. Like, you know, extra studying, extra film work. I mean, we're all prepared. I mean, this, we know what, we know what's, like, what's next week, so we, we, we can give all we can right now. You're like, we have time to rest later, so we can put all this work in now. So it's really about just knowing what you have and you know being confident that you know it too. Cody, uh, did you say you guys rewatched that loss, the Oregon game? I mean, I've, I've gone through some of those clips just because sometimes I lose some sleep over that that game. That, that's where <laughs> I, I grew a lot of maturity out of that game because of you know stuff that gets said after that stuff. And you know, as I was a sophomore, so I was like, wow, this is college football. So, but. You know, I, I just watched a couple of those plays. Okay, so that wasn't Jim Knowles sitting you oh, guys no. down and making no. you live through that. No, no, not not deliberately. No. What What did you learn? You mentioned you know you learned a lot of maturity and you grew a lot of maturity from that game. What specific lessons did you take from that? Game? The The biggest thing I, I I learned that is, you know, as as great as everything is out there, all the all the hype and everything that like your team and the people around you, the people who we we grind every day with, that's all the people that matter. Like I, I gotten. A whole bunch of like messages from people that I probably shouldn't have looked at or anything, and you know I I just you, you block it all out and whatever all that matters is what's in this building right here. So that's what that's the main thing I focus and, and I've learned from that from that time. Cody, you were one of a handful of guys who was here three years ago. You and Denzel and some of the other guys. How much do you guys talk about that game? Shoot, I mean I, I we talked about it a little bit yesterday, but we don't we don't really want to focus on the past. We can only be worried about what's right, what's right now. And uh, that's why I don't really want to focus too much on that game because it's a completely different team. It's a completely different scheme. Everything's different. So, you know, we just want to be able to go out there and do our job. How did you think you guys did tackle in space last week against Caleb Johnson? I mean, that guy was breaking tackles all season. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could have done better. I, I know personally, I think as a team, we did pretty well. But I, I know my, my standard has got to be higher. I need to make, make more tackles. And, you know, uh, but I think as a team, though, we, we did a pretty good job. And we knew the challenge, though. He's, he's one of the best backs in the, in the Big Ten. So, you know, we gotta go that go down there and chop his legs out and you know really make, make a difference and knock him back on, on yeah. defense. And James is a, obviously a different type of back, but he seems like he can be a tough guy to bring down yeah. in his own right. Yeah, he runs hard. He runs hard, but I mean, you know, it's our job to bring him down no matter what. So it's our job. I thought you guys tackled well last week. I mean, you had you had one. Yeah, you had one. I, you're hard on yourself. Right? Yeah. You made it's still a, that was an next play, and you know we can't we can't. We can't allow like, big plays to happen off a of missed tackle, so that's how they, that's how they start. Yeah. Okay. Like, how important do you think it is to have a guy like Will with as much experience as he does in a game to this caliber? Oh yeah, no, I, uh, I was saying earlier, like he he, uh, I, we have ultimate trust in him. You know, he puts in all the work in in practice, and and when when we're not practicing, he's in the film room all the time. So I mean, I, I have full faith and trust in him and Coach Day and, and uh, Coach Kelly to uh, get us in a good game plan and, and and do what we need to do. Thanks, Cody. Sure.